Hi, my Scorpios, Jamie Zebra 23. Um, I'm doing your weekly spread for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out my website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. I've got lots of stuff on the website, jamiezebra23.com. I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense, sage, um, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy. So these are, um, these are our general readings. These are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, your rising videos. Okay, so for further insight. Okay, Scorpio, you might want to go check out Libra, the Libra video I just did, because towards the end of the Libra video, I was channeling you guys hardcore. So if those of you that are connected to Libra, definitely check it out. For Scorpio, you might have some extra stuff happening. You might want to check out the Libra video. So yeah, especially towards like the, the second half of it. All right, so Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. You've got the King of Wands, which could very well be a Queen. You've got the Eight of Swords. You've got the Eight of Cups. You've got the Magician. And you've got the Nine of Cups. So here's what's up. Okay, so I do see that for some of you, you do have a married man scoping you out or a married woman scoping you out this week. I feel like for some of you, you're married, Scorpio, you're married. And maybe you have like somebody else that's watching you or they're sexually interested in you. Um, for some of you, you are, you know, married. Um, and so for some Scorpios, you're married. This could be either a fire sign, a Scorpio, or a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. It shows either way. It shows here that um, some of you don't care and you're just going to do your thing and just get, you know, do, do whatever you do. Um... But be careful because you might get caught by your by your husband, your wife, or a neighbor might tell on you, or somebody you know that's riding by might say, "Hey, guess who I saw at your house?" Or I came over to drop something off and I saw something. So Scorpio, you may want to watch yourself this week um, and behave yourself. If uh, Scorpio, if you're connected to a fire sign or an air sign. They may have something to tell you, or you may find out find out information about them. Um, you know, Scorpio, the energy, the strong energy I get is probably Scorpio doing this. You know, in tarot, the, um, the king of wands is a married man. So this is the only card in the tarot deck that symbolizes a married man. Um, so... This could possibly be you, Scorpio, if you're a male, a married male, that's doing something that you're not supposed to be doing. So anyway, so now off to a different subject. Okay, so so for some of you, Scorpios, you have a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius that's watching your every move, or they could possibly be terrorizing you, or Scorpio, you could be doing this to another party, possibly a fellow water sign, or a, um, or a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. It's like... Um, somebody you're you're it's like it's creating mental torment so if you're like cheating on someone a whole bunch they could like have ptsd and be like oh my god i bet they're out cheating somewhere right now oh my gosh you're doing it again or maybe you're stressing somebody out maybe you're you know out of all the signs the ones that can mind mind fuck someone the best scorpio you guys take the cake if you want to mind fuck someone you can so for some of you you're doing a pretty damn good job or scorpio somebody's or it's a gemini because out of all the signs, the best ones that can really, you know, make you really believe that the sky is green when you, when all your life you thought it was blue and you knew it was blue is a Scorpio and a Gemini. They can really turn things upside down. How do you think, how do you think Donald Trump gets away with it? They, he can really, you know, there's, there's people that are convinced after all this time that what, what he says is true, that it's all a conspiracy, that he's Mr. Innocent. He doesn't, that, that, uh. Cohen's a coffee boy. He doesn't really know him. Man, if we're, I, don't, I don't know anybody. And people really, there's 30% of the United States that believe this dude. 30% is a pretty big number when there's proof. When you've got somebody on tape, their hand is in the cookie jar, and they still believe it's fake news when there's video, there's audio. <laughs> there's no escaping it. It's fact. 
and they still believe it. So anyway, so some of you either have a Gemini mind effing you or you Scorpio or doing what you do best. You're mind effing somebody. This could be a coworker, this could be a family member, a friend, a lover. Either way, you're causing mental chaos. And that's that's like the worst weapon that somebody could could use against someone is to be able to toy with their mind. So some of you are able to do this. Okay, now I do see that for some of you, there's a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo involved here. You're really trying to, you're really trying to, somebody's really trying to like confuse someone. So it's kind of like somebody's doing the passive aggressive thing. Well, I'm not calling you because you don't love me. When, you know, this person does love you and all they've done is show, prove it to you. But you're doing that to, to like create either you're doing this or an earth sign is doing this to you. But somebody's doing this to like buy some time. Like, oh, I think you're just playing me. You don't love me. And then they get to play, play with other men or other women for a few days. Somebody's using this as a tool to like buy time, you know, to, to leave the house or to not call you or to not, you know, answer to you. Somebody's somebody's playing a game real, real well. This is either you or this is uh, somebody else. I do see that for some of you, if there was a breakup within the past eight days, eight weeks, or since August, or since the eighth of November, or the eighth of eighth of no eighth of um, August, the eighth of October, November, or uh, December, they will be back. For cross watchers, if if uh, if a Scorpio left you. And those dates or that time frame, they're coming back. Scorpio, if somebody left you during that time frame, they're coming back. They'll be back this week. Um, I do see with this magician, some of you are really wasting your, your talent. Some of you are wasting your time, wasting your talent. You guys have a lot more to offer, but you're tired. Some of you feel like, oh, those days are gone. I can't do anything now. Some of you could be lawyers. Some of you could really um, make it. You know, some of you are in your 30s, late 30s, 40s, and you're thinking, oh, my life is over. You better get it together because you're just as sharp as you ever were. The only thing that's changed is your self-esteem. You know, your ego is beaten up. Your self-esteem is messed up. That's the only thing. You've been through some troubles in life, possibly some legal issues, and you think, oh, I'm finished now. I've got a record. You need to stop thinking that way because there's lots of people who have made it who uh, who do not have squeaky clean backgrounds. Um, like there's several actors that were like convicted murderers. I forgot they did, they were doing like a, a special on this one. Google it. But yeah, um, there's there's things you can you know overcome. Some of you, your self esteem is the only problem that's getting in the way. Um, some of you also don't stand up for yourselves. You know, you know that you're not treat, being treated well. People are stealing your ideas and you're not saying anything because maybe you do have a background or maybe you feel like you won't be able to get another job. Some of you maybe feel like your age is the, the issue. Like, oh, I, I don't want to rock the boat. You know, they're only hiring the young ones. Please stop thinking that because that's self-fulfilling prophecies because you're just fine. It's saying you have everything that, that it takes to succeed and more. You just have to believe it. So some of you do have to work on your self-esteem. Some of you have to work on your sacral chakra, your root chakra, and your solar plexus. Um, clear that. Cleanse that. There's free Reiki videos on YouTube to do all of that. You need to play that. You'll physically feel it. You might feel the release in the bottom of your feet or out of the palms of your hands. All right, my Scorpios, have an amazing week. JamieZebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.